So I want to give you an idea of what the CDC is recommending in terms of how to protect yourself with this personal protective gear. I'm also going to show you how to take it off, which some say is the most dangerous part. I will point out as we start to do this, I work in an operating room every week. This is different than what most doctors I think are used to, at least in the operating room. Now, I do want to point out this is a little different than how I suited up when I was in Guinea, but we're following CDC protocol. Now, I want to show you how I'm going to take this protective, protective equipment off, and I'm also going to put a little chocolate sauce in my hand, which could represent a possible Ebola contamination. Take a look. This is the mask back on. So here's what would be the most likely contaminated area. It would be my gloves, and maybe the front of my gown, a bit like this. Okay, now I gotta, I gotta treat this as if I'm potentially contaminated. I come out, what I'm gonna do with this particular gown, is I'm gonna rip it all off together, and everything is gonna come off simultaneously. But if part of the glove sort of brushed against my hand, my arm there, that could potentially be an exposure. If the glove didn't come off properly, I would reach underneath here as best I could and get underneath there, but perhaps if I didn't do it exactly right, there could be another potential exposure there. I'm reaching behind now as well as I can, but let's say the side of my face shield is contaminated and I touched here. That could potentially be an exposure. Same thing here now with the face mask. So now take a look. Right there, see a little bit of chocolate sauce, one possible exposure, and over here on my neck, one possible exposure. 